Right then guys, grid reference. Specifically, a six figure grid reference. Um, we're not gonna go into four figure or eight figure grid references, um, purely because, well, for, for this purpose, for map reading, for being able to navigate and orientate yourself from one point to another, it's not necessary. If you're looking at geocaching, yes, maybe you may want an eight figure grid reference just to tighten in your search area. Eight figure grid reference is gonna give you like a 10 meter by 10 meter area. What we're gonna do now, six figure grid reference is gonna give you 100 meter by 100 meter. If you're looking for a triangulation point or you're looking for a, I suppose, a, a junction in a, in a path or the corner of a, a wood, um, six figure grid reference is plenty enough detail for you. So um, we're, gonna, we're gonna have a look at the principally the, the, how a map works and how a map actually breaks its area down. Um, if you look here, you've got blue lines that run from north to south. They're known as your northings. And then you have blue lines here that travel from east to west. They are known as your eastings. Um, so all we're going to do, we're going to take a, a point on the map. Let's have a look at this point here. Um, for all intents and purposes, blue triangle means it's a, a trig point, a triangulation point, or on the key of this map, it calls it a triangulation pillar. Normally found at the top of, um, of a hill. Um, it just gives you a bearing, a reference, so you can actually, you know, you can make sure you are where you're supposed to be. Right, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a six figure grid reference for this triangulation point. If I take you over to our, our compass again, you can see that we've got, we've got three Romas. We've got three different scale Romas. Our map is a one to 50 thou. That's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use this Roma here. It basically splits each one of your boxes into 10. Now, once I show you this principle, you may not ever need to use a Roma ever again. I know, I don't, but for teaching purposes, I'm going to show you exactly how to use a Roma. So when you're given a six figure grid reference, what you want to do is write down this figure first. You're going across the corridor and up the stairs. That's how we do it. So what we're going to do is give our northings first. So you see 94, 95, 96. You see here, this is where our triangulation point is. So it's in the box 96. Okay, so I'm going to put the corner of my Roma right in the center of that triangulation point. You see that? Triangulation point, center of my Roma. Okay? So our first three digits of our six-figure grid reference is nine, six, five. Okay? And you can almost see that. It's in the center of the box. So nine, six, one, two, three, four, five. If I drew that line up there, you would see exactly where it falls, right in the center. So our first three grid, three figures of our six figure grid reference are, is rather, nine, six, five. Nine, six, five. Okay, now we're gonna go to the, to the other three. If we look here, we've got, seven, we've got 16, 17, 18, 19. It's in, if I drew that line right across there, from there, let's see if I can do this right, from there all the way to there. It tells you exactly where it is, okay? So I'll do it principally with a Roma. I'll stick the Roma on there. So it's one, eight, 
And then you can tell what it is straight away. One, eight, you got it? Oh, sorry, wrong Roma. One, eight, nine. Okay. I'm going to take the Roma away and you can see what I mean. If we look, nine, six, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, eight. You can see it's going to be a nine. One, eight, nine. You don't necessarily need aroma, guys. But for this lesson, I was going to show you the principle of how to use aroma. So that is our six figure grid reference for that triangulation point up there. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I know sometimes this can be a, a little bit daunting, but it doesn't have to be. Hopefully you can see that. Um, one, the, the first is nine, six, five, one, eight, nine. And that's it on the Roma, okay? Nine, six, five, one, eight, nine. Right, thanks guys. And I think next time we might look at how to take a compass bearing. Right then guys, thanks for watching, bye.